I'm Magnus from Sonic Charge. I'm here at NAM with Teenage Engineering, and we're showing a, a new pocket operator that I made together with them. It's called the PO32. It's based on my uh, plugin, my software, Microtonic. So it's like a small version of Microtonic. It's a four-channel version. There's 16 built-in sounds, something like this. They all have these two parameters. Some of them change quite a bit with this one. And of course, there's the built-in pattern engine that you have in all the pocket operators. Um, like this. And then on top of that, some fun effects. I'm gonna show you a really cool feature that we've been working a lot on. So you have these 16 built-in sounds, but the fun part is that you can actually change all of those sounds using the software. So this is Microtonic. Microtonic has eight channels. Each, on each channel there's one sound. I'm going to show you here on the pocket operator, you have four different channels. Each channel has four different sounds. You can replace anyone with anyone from here. So I'm going to try and uh, make something here. I'm going to do a, a new kick drum for instance. So let's, uh, let's tweak something. I'm going to have a bit more punch to that. Some noise. Distortion, let's see what we got. Something like that. Just give me a second. Something like that. And now I'm going to transfer this sound to the pocket operator. To transfer sound, I'm going to replace, let's say replace this one, number four. So I put this unit, well, I'm just going to use the built-in speakers now on the computer. So I'm, I'm going to put this unit into receive mode and it's going to listen with the microphone for this special signal that contains the sound, okay? So I'm doing like that, and I just hold it to the speaker and click. And there it is. So it's the same sound. And it also works with the morph. <laughs> so you have these different settings with this morph slider. All over there we have that sound, all over here we have this sound. It's a complete setup of all the parameters on the left side and the right side. And this one is mapped to this knob here. So that works too. And what, what, I, what I can do as well is that I can send the entire um, setup of all the eight sounds uh, and the pattern that is playing. So I have this pattern here. And um, well, given the limitation that it's four channels only, it tries to uh, optimize that so that it plays all these eight different sounds on four channels only. Um, so let me transfer that and we'll see how it goes. Again, receive mode. I'm just going to move the volume receive. Takes a bit longer. And here we have the pattern. Exactly the same as in this one. So how many patterns can you store at one time? On Sorry? How many patterns can you store on the units at one time? Uh, well, it has 16 patterns. So 16 sounds and 16 patterns. Uh, and sometimes a pattern is more than one bar. Uh, so one pattern here is only 16 steps. Um, so, yeah, it depends on how long the pattern is, but um, you can chain them, so we have this one. And I can copy that to 
had been two. Um, I can make some changes. I don't know what I'm doing now, but something. Okay, that's cool. And then I can chain these. So I do this pattern first and then that pattern. And I was gonna play those. Like that. And then on top of this I can record effects. And it's been recorded. Oh sorry, once again. There you go. So all those tweaks with the unit are stored in the pattern? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can you can record these uh, uh, knobs as well if you have. Let me see. Uh, yeah, let's take the. Let's listen to that one. Okay, so I can do this. I'm just gonna remove the effect. So here I'm recording knob movements. I'm recording changes to the sound into the pattern. So it's like automation. And can you transfer changes on the unit back into the software? Unfortunately not. Not yet anyhow. We haven't really solved how to do that because this pattern engine has different features. Uh, it has more features actually. What I showed you now with recording knobs on top of the pattern and the effects. Um, Microtonic, as a plugin, uh, doesn't have parameter automation in the pattern sequence because you tend to do that in the, the DAW. Um, that's basically why. In the, in the future, it might be possible. We'll see. What you can do is that you can transfer from one unit to another. So you can transfer a pattern like this. Now I'm transferring this pattern. So if I have a receiver here, this one uh, doesn't have any batteries, otherwise I could have shown you. Uh, you can transfer patterns to a friend, uh, or even the entire unit with all the sound. And so, uh, price and availability of the unit? Sorry there? Price and, avail price and availability. Uh, this is going to be uh, now in a limited edition first. So there, there's, um, it's, it's uh, available to buy now I think. Um, it's going to ship. Uh, in, a, in a couple of days, in a, or, or a week or two, and it's bundled with Microtonic only now for the first 1,000 units, and it's going to cost. Uh, I think it's cost. Uh, the cost is 139 dollars. 